Hello AOS fans, Robin here. It's Wednesday again, so I'm back with a Word Wednesday video. And this week's word is engineering. That's right, engineering, because we have another DK book, we have How to Be an Engineer, uh, which is uh, got Carol Waterman on the cover. I don't know how much of the book she wrote, but she's kind of like their uh, popular science uh, headliner, along with Robert Winston, who I reviewed a book, book of his a few weeks ago, or before Christmas. Uh, Carol Vorderman, if you don't know, she uh, made it famous, uh, became famous over here uh, for Countdown, where she did lots of quick math sums, and uh, she's gone on to be very famous and is one of the, probably the UK's chief science popularizers, certainly maths uh, and uh, for teaching maths. Um, so that's Carol Vorderman. So she has got a uh, pedigree here. She uh, is an engineer, I think, by trade, uh, so highly decorated uh, in ac academia. She can fly a plane. So she's a pretty cool lady and um, she's also uh, passionate about engineering. And so she's put her underlined, uh, she's put her name to this book, which actually I have to say is a pretty great book. As you know, on these posts, I love DK books, uh, but this engineer one, I think, takes it up another level, mostly because of its practical applications. So I'll quickly break down the sections of the book for you. We've got amazing materials, strong structures, mighty machines. Uh, now, this is actually for printing mistakes. There's strong structures, again, it's actually getting around about vehicles and transport uh, and incredible energy. And in here, we've got things like making mud bricks, uh, rusty nails, uh, something about May Jemison. Uh, strong structures, bridges, cardboard arches, Brunel, the suspension bridge, mighty machines, Da Vinci, lifting weights, cardboard cogs, engines, robots, and a robot arm. Uh, terrible robot there. Uh, something in there about Grace Hopper. Uh, strong structures, paddle boats, Stevenson, steam power, Wright Brothers, balloon heavy craft, sailing boats, and energy, all about energy, uh, wind energy, Tesla, electricity. So that's a quick overview of the sections. Uh, and then in each page, we've got some... Uh, Pretty funky, um, so uh, I think well, it starts off with getting ready. What is an engineer? Thinking like an engineer. Engineers always ask questions. Be curious and find out as much as you as information as you can before you start a project. Engineers think about how things will look. Use your imagination to visualize exactly what you want to create. Engineers are precise. That's why I never became an engineer. Engineers are confident. You will succeed and believe in yourself and your ideas. Uh, engineers regularly work in teams. Engineers are problem solvers. Engineers never stop. If you think it can be improved, keep going. Like Pete in our uh, Shades by videos, he's always improving them, tinkering with them. What are materials? And then we have uh, an experiment here. So you can make some mud bricks uh, there. Uh, uh, building walls out of sugar cubes. And it goes on and on and on. Snapping and bending straws, uh, uh, tubes. Uh, how to stop rust, what rust is, a rust experiment. Um, there's a really great experiment here, here it is, uh, to build your own skyscraper and uh, cardboard arches. So it really does teach the fundamentals of engineering this, but there's one where you can build cocktail sticks and, and sticky sweets, uh, jelly sweets to build a structure like the Eiffel Tower. There's the Golden Gate Bridge there. You can build your own suspension bridge out of uh, tubes. There's a really great practical book uh, for um, your kids to enjoy and explore the principles of engineering, lifting weights, building a pulley out of a cotton reel. I haven't seen a cotton reel for about 30 years, but building a cotton reel, cup phones. I mean, well, who, you know, I think everybody has built a cup phone in their life, haven't they? But well, there's cup phones, which I actually haven't done with my kids, so I really, I really, really need to do that. So it's a great summer holiday, holiday uh, project things there. Uh, for, for the kids to enjoy. Steam power. I don't think you quite get to build your own steam engine, but you do get to do a little experiment with a, a balloon and some steam to uh, show how steam power works, at least. And then um, how, to, how to make your own wings. Uh, don't no, to, don't ex to experiment with that too much. The Wright Brothers planes and uh, making an awesome paper aeroplane there by the looks of things. So the book is full of great stuff and it's really clear and simple to understand for anybody who uh, wants to inspire their children and it doesn't take too much. You don't, you're not going to be scratching your head thinking, well, how on earth are we supposed to do this? I find that a problem with a lot of things sometimes is actually it's so complicated that by the time you've worked it out, the children have gone bored and gone away. Uh, this uh, is really good and will be used over and over again, I think, especially in this house. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that over the summer. That is... How to Be an Engineer by Carol Vorderman. It's priced $12.99 in the UK, so I reckon probably about 16, 17 US dollars. I shall get Pete to flash that up. Uh, and that's it. If you want to know anything about the book, please do ask. Do check it out if you've got a budding engineer in your family. 
And uh, until next week, where I'll be back with another book. Have a great week, and I'll see you with another book in a week's time. And until then, happy reading, happy building. <laughs>